Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I wanted to take a look at getting FL Rig installed from Source. So let's jump right into it. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up the terminal. And I'm going to start by pasting in a command. There's a whole host of dependencies that you need to get installed before we try to get FL Rig or FL Digi either one installed. I'll leave this command down in the description below so you can copy and paste. Once you paste that in, just go ahead and hit return and wait for everything to finish up. Now that that's finished up, we'll just go ahead and clear the screen. And then let's head over to the website so we can download the first file we need. I'll leave a link to this website down in the description below. The first thing we're looking for is FLXML RPC. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Now this is, you have to have this installed before you can get FL Rig or FL Digi uh, running. And we're looking for this tar.gz file here. So we're going to right click on that and say copy the link location. Let's head back to the Pi. We'll move into the downloads directory with CD downloads. Then we'll use the wget command and paste in that link that we just copied. Go ahead and hit the return key and give that just a second to download. Once that's downloaded, let's clear the screen and let's run the ls command so we can see the file that we downloaded. Next, we're going to unzip that file with tar-zxvf and then we'll start typing the file name, hit the tab key for an autocomplete, and go ahead and hit return. Hey guys, did you know you can support the channel just by shopping at Amazon? Use the link in the description below and the channel will receive a small cut of your purchase and it won't cost you a dime extra. Now that we've uncompressed the file, let's list it out again. You'll see our new directory here. So let's go ahead and move into that directory. And then let's give it a configure command. And again, I'll leave this information down in the description below so you can copy and paste as well. Now that the configure is complete, let's go ahead and run make for our next command. This command is going to take quite a while uh, to run, probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So we'll be back when it finishes. Hey, go ahead and click the thumbs up button down below. For our next command, let's run sudo make install. And then the final command will be sudo ld config. Once we're done with that, we can go back to our downloads directory. So cd space dot dot. And that takes us back to our downloads directory. All right, let's get back to the website so we can go ahead and grab FL Rig next. This time, let's go into the FL Rig directory. Again, let's hunt the tar.gz file. We'll right click on it, copy the link location, and head back to the Pi so we can download it. Once again, we'll use the wget command and paste in that link that we just copied. We can run the ls command to see the file that we just got. So that's our FL rig file here. And we need to uncompress that. So tar zxvf and FL rig and hit the return key. Once that's uncompressed, let's move into that new FL rig directory. CD FL rig. Again, I'm going to paste in the configure command and go ahead and press return. Once that finishes up, let's go ahead and run make for our next command. And again, this is going to take a little while to run. We'll be back as soon as it completes. Now that the make command has finished up, let's run sudo make install. And let's go ahead and return to our home directory and clear the screen. At this point, we should be able to run FL Rig. And that'll bring up our little GUI interface. Okay, so let's go ahead and configure my transceiver. 
So we'll go up to the config menu, setup, and transceiver. First thing we'll tell it is the rig. I'm running the Yaesu 857D. And then we need to select our serial port. And mine is going to be this one right here. And let's go ahead and hit the initialize. And then we can hit the close since that's done. And there you go. The 857 is configured. Okay, guys. I hope this helps you get FL Rig installed and configured on your Raspberry Pi. A huge shout out to all of the subscribers. Thank you for watching the channel and supporting it. And we will see you guys on the next video. 7-3.